Hey, what's going on, fellas? How y'all doing today? Love and abundance. This is Dr. Varun Gandhi. All right, let's see who comes on today. Boris, my man, Boris. What's good, brother? It's been a long time. All right, so what is my message for today? The one ingredient that is missing is this. It's that the confidence, right? So the thought that came to me this morning was, do I know, do I know that no matter where I am at, no matter what situation I am in, that I'm going to be okay? Do I know that? Do I have that much confidence in myself to know that no matter where I am, no matter who I'm with, no matter what I'm doing, no matter what goal I'm going to accomplish, that in that time, in that moment, that place, I am okay. I am not just okay, but I am perfect the way I am. And no matter what I've come here to do, I am going to succeed. Do you have that confidence in you? And that's the one ingredient that's missing. So why is it missing? What happened? But one thing I wanted to mention is there is a difference between knowing and believing, right? I didn't say believe. I said no. Believe is when you are convincing yourself of something. So you have to force yourself to believe it, which is good. That's the step in between. That's the step that you have to take to get to knowing. Knowing is an embodiment. Your whole body knows that this is the truth and you live it like it is the truth that's a knowing but when you don't know and you and you're getting to knowing you have to believe you believe enough then you'll know okay so do you have that knowing that no matter where you are no matter what you're doing no matter what goal you're set out to accomplish today right now that you are going to be perfectly okay, that you are perfectly okay, do you know that? So why is this important? Now look, I'm an entrepreneur, and in the last five years since I've been an entrepreneur, before that I used to work, I was in a corporate, and once I quit my job and left that career behind, as an entrepreneur, I've had to teach myself so many new skills. So over these last five years, I have learned, let's see, web designing, developing. I have learned design, like how do you design a logo? How do you design, you know, like concept, conceptualize and draw it out on paper? I have taught myself to write, writing blogs, writing scripts, writing stories, writing uh, speeches all kinds of, you know, all different types of writing. I've taught myself how to communicate better, to come on this live and actually speak. I've taught myself how to improve and get to this level. And there's so many other things that I've taught myself since I've become an entrepreneur. But before that, I didn't know. As an entrepreneur, I have to know that I'm going to be fine. That no matter what happens, I am perfectly all right the way I am right now. But as an entrepreneur, when I was working, I was kind of stuck in that. Uh, just that I didn't have that confidence in me, so my career wasn't moving forward. So, do you have that knowing? So, right now, wherever you are, right now, do you know? So it always starts with today. So get into that knowing that right now where you are, everything is great. Okay? So now what I do is I try out new and different, different things, different ideas. I, I conceptualize them and I make it go happen. Right? That's my, that's my role because as an entrepreneur, I want to always learn something new, I will always want to expand my horizons. 
And this knowing helps in doing that. Because if you don't know, you're not confident, then you can't succeed because you don't know, you won't have enough courage to go out there and take the steps necessary to make it happen. And this applies to career as well, your job as well. So in your job right now, do you know that no matter what circumstances, <coughs> excuse me, that no matter what circumstances come your way, that you are going to be okay. You're going to be perfectly fine. That also means that you're going to step outside. Like say, for example, you're trained to do one particular thing at your job. And tomorrow or today another opportunity comes up that's outside of your comfort zone, something new you'd have to try. Are you willing to step outside, turn off your blinders, because you're so focused on that one career, that one path? Are you willing to step outside of it and try something new at your current job? Are you one of them who is curious enough to go out, go out there and teach yourself something new or find the resources to teach yourself? And that's what I learned as a, now as an entrepreneur, that an entrepreneur is basically a problem solver. It takes a problem, finds the resources to solve that problem. And that's what an entrepreneur does. You could do the same, you could have that same entrepreneurship mindset at your job as well. But it takes a knowing that you will be, you know, all right. Like no matter what you undertake, it'll turn out to its highest level. You will take it there and see it and make sure it gets there. Do you have that knowing? So ask yourself that question right now where you are. And if you don't, then bring it in yourself. How do you do that? You close your eyes. And close your eyes and in, inside of yourself, just repeat it to yourself. I know that I am powerful and I am perfect where I am right now. Keep repeating that to yourself over and over again until you, you have that inside of yourself. Okay? So that is my message for the day. And I do want to bring up another announcement about the Affirmation Bible. I want to actually bring it. I want to make a demonstration. So before that, let me say hello. So I'm going to pull out, I have a dice, and I have this affirm pretty little affirmation Bible that we've created. So what this is, has 400 affirmations, 20 pages of 20 affirmations per page. It makes it 400. And the rules, instructions of this game are that you get a 20-sided dice. With this 20-sided dice, you roll it once. So I'm going to roll it right now. You roll it once, you get a number, <coughs> that number represents the page number, chapter number in the book. So I rolled a number seven. So chapter seven. You roll it again, and now you get an affirmation from this page. I got 19. So number 19, I analyze new ideas with a clear inspiration. I analyze new ideas with a clear inspiration. So I analyze. I analyze is the key word for the Virgo zodiac sign. Virgo, they, they're analyzers. They analyze life. They have to think things through organized fashion and they, that's how they move forward. New ideas. So there are new ideas that are, that are gonna come around you. They're, that you're gonna have some new ideas come up in your life. What you do here with this affirmation is you're going to repeat it to yourself 200 times. Meaning, either you can write it down on paper, and this is what the instructions are in this Bible, that you take a notebook and start on the first page, I analyze new ideas with a clear inspiration, you write it out 200 times. The reason for writing this out 200 times is you are bringing about that experience in your life. You're making that real for you. So when you're writing it, you're essentially feeling that to be real for you. So, I analyze new ideas with a clear inspiration. So you're taking a new idea 
you're analyzing it, is that an idea that you want to pursue, you want to move forward with, you want to act upon? But you're analyzing it with clear clarity. Clarity and inspiration. Alright? So that's your affirmation for today. I analyze new ideas with a clear inspiration. The Archangel that goes with it is Haniel. So you can look up Archangel Haniel. H-A-N-I-E-L. Look up Virgo. What does that mean for you? What does a Virgo constellation zodiac mean for you? And look up Angel 2066. So type that in Google. Angel 2066 and hit enter and pick the first number, the first website that comes to you and there's a message for you there. All right? So you read that, understand that, what that means for your life. Apply it to your life right now. And there today is your message and a reading for you. All right? So... I analyze new ideas with a clear inspiration. All right, guys, so that's the Affirmation Bible. Hit me up if you're interested in learning more about this. You essentially get this Bible a little four page, uh, sorry, 24 page, four inch, two and a half with a little itty bitty book with a dice, a 20 sided dice. And this is a game that, we've, that we're creating, that we've created. And it's under production right now. Um, so if you're interested, hit me up. Let me know. Uh, and you know, I'll definitely talk to you more about it. All right, guys. Love and abundance. That's my time. I hope you all have a great day. It's a Friday. Um, so have a wonderful, wonderful Friday. And thank God it's Friday. All right. Peace. Love and abundance, baby.